Good morning, folks. Everybody is doing great. It's about 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm waiting for my half an hour from now. Go for the walk. Had my coffee. A uh, little bit cheerful, too cheerful, if possible, if you say so. All right. So today I'm going to see, look at one perfume oil. Okay. It's called a, uh, it's a concentrated perfume. All right. So it's not one of your typical spray. And then as you can see, the from the title, it's going to be one fragrance from House of Rasasi. So Rasasi is a niche sort of, they consider it to be niche Arabian house, but the prices are not that expensive. So it's a win-win situation, right? So today it's going to be a very, very interesting looking bottle. I love this. I'm going to talk about it in a while, but let me show you the fragrance first. It's called Amber Oud from the house of Rasasi, okay? And this is a gorgeous looking bottle, all right? So I'm going to talk about this because I was... Uh, I got this yesterday, okay? So basically, it, it would be more or less uh, like an initial impression, but what I'm getting from it, actually, I got vibes from this. It's like from one other fragrance. So I'll talk about it as well, okay? Uh, the next one would be the this perfume oil. I was looking for the reviews, if someone reviewed this, any of the reviewers reviewed it, all right? Because I would like to know their thoughts, definitely, because I would like to see how much they liked it or disliked it, more for that reason because I really liked it, okay? Yesterday I went to Stalin, Bangladesh shop, and then I just wanted to just see what they have new ones. Just talk about, you know, like new fragrances they can order for Bangladeshi people. So yeah, a few matters. So then I saw this, I was like, let's see this. And I picked up one other fragrance. It's called Ivan Ho. I don't know if someone, some of you know this, all right? It's a supposedly clone of Terre d'Armes, but it's a nice fragrance. I'm not quite sure it's how much clone it that is, but it's a nice fragrance on its own. And I also, oh, Sorry, I'm talking a bit too much in the morning because that's me. I got the one-man show, the original. So now I have completed my collection. All four I have. Yes. <laughs> All right. So here you go. Okay. So to start with, this is uh, the box presentation. <clears throat> nothing fancy, nothing, you know, mind-blowing. This looks more like a, you know, hair oil or something, some of the product or soap, that sort of box. Uh, you have seen the bottle this one then the box doesn't really go well all right and i think oh sorry lex ellis he reviewed this perfume sorry to i couldn't mention it lex ellis my bro uh, he's my favorite reviewer he reviewed this perfume and then also i think babs collection he talked in a detail in few fragrance in from that house all right so yeah i'll be the third one probably doing it right okay back to the box so it says um first thing you notice is amber oud so oud is written o o d so I'm not sure if they did it on purpose or they didn't notice it. Because usually people write oud like O-U-D or O-U-D-H, oud, oud, right? A-O-U-D-H, so many ways they write, right? But doesn't matter, you know, as long as the product is all right, I don't care. And then it's like a green, uh, I'm not very big fan of the box and it's a 14 ml. And trust me, 14 ml is no joke because this perfume is going to take forever to finish. It's a perfume oil for good, God's sake, right? Bottom you get these and a lot of information side yeah top nothing much nothing nothing fancy all right and it says manufacturing date actually is mentioned here all right Let's see if you can pick it up uh okay let me read it out manufacturing date is 2015 december all right so it's been about two years good it blended well i guess the bottle however caught my eye i mean like i really love this i showed this to my lady and she goes like that's a gorgeous looking bottle see it looks like a temple all right it looks like a temple, I don't know, for some sort. It looks like a like very holy place and looks royal. It's all golden. It says amber oud very nicely. The juice looking is very, very uh, sexy, you know, because it looks like honey, bit of like, you know, amberish color. The base is quite heavy for a small bottle. And at the back, it's written Arabic. You can see the juice is very mysterious, very sort of, wow. <laughs> Bottom you get, okay. This is now they mentioned Rasa C if you want to know. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, it's not gonna capture. Okay, it says Rasa C made in UAE, 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 UAE is my university. UAE, Dubai, all right? And then the top, I really love this. There's a green gem, like a stone, gemstone. It's very, very gorgeous looking. Trust me, if you see this bottle anywhere, Rasa C, go check it out, all right? Just for the collector's item, it's not very pricey also. Okay, I guess it comes only in one size. I haven't seen any other size. So you open it like this application, all right? You have those who, have, who are not sure about the you know application of this. Yeah, you have to go open it like this, smell it, yeah. And then you take it out and you have to put it one dab, very tiny bit. 
wherever you want. You can try it here. I'm trying it on my wrist, sort of. And you don't need a lot of this stuff, all right? So yeah, this stuff, one other thing. Inside the juice, it doesn't move like, you know, typical your, let's say you're using this, right? It moves and you shake it a lot to be bubble and, you know, gas inside because that has a lot of alcohol in it. This is a pure perfume oil. So it's very thick. It doesn't move that much. It's more like a very um, solid substance that's sort of a liquid, all right? And this will serve you for a very long time. All right. So the price for this, this 14 ml perfume oil, I paid, I think it's around 1000 taka. Okay, 1000 taka uh, price would be like a, maybe around 50, 50 ringgit, yeah, 50 ringgit, that is about $10. So 10, 12 dollars US. If you see it, how much do you have to lose, right? Okay, so let's uh, talk about, okay, presentation for the box, zero, for the bottle, 20 out of 10. All right, so this perfume, this fragrance, all right, as you can see, you have to apply it, you don't have the convenience of a, uh, let's say sprayer like this all right that would be much better for application but perfumes like this you cannot spray <laughs> if imagine if you had a sprayer and pff, pff, you would kill instantly you know yourself pff, pff, out because that would be a, such a strong heat right so you can mix it with maybe like lex said uh, like you can mix it with alcohol and you could put an edt and then spray it all right you can try that but i wouldn't i recommend because this bottle is really really gorgeous all right so what does it smell like okay so most important thing is you have to remember how you're thinking or how you're approaching this fragrance if you're in a bad mood let's say you had a very bad day right and you're just going to try so few fragrances you smell this you'll be like what the f this smells like soap right it smells, smells like like this white soaps lux you, you you know it's bar of soap not very expensive one that's how that smells like initially right <clears throat> if you're in a bad mood but yes if you actually are certain place in a certain place where you have been using fragrances for some time right and you, your nose is developing and you're moving from freshies to sweet sweet to more uh, nighttime dark fragrances incense then you come to leather then come to oud right that transformation then you'd be interested right when i smell this i instantly loved it because i thought this smells rich then i saw it's amber and i like amber okay so I put some of it on my skin just to see how it transforms, you know. So first of all, the application wise, just need just a tiny bit. And this, don't try it in summer, day in sun. Caution, right? If you're using this in the summer heat, it won't last that long, first of all. Second of all, it will smell like more atar. Yeah, people call it atar type, but I call them perfume oils, all right? If you put too much of it, you ch choke to death. And if you put a little bit on a cooler night, let's say you're going for prayers, like, you know, any kind of prayer that is not just exclusively Muslims, any prayer you're going, put a little bit of it on, you feel a little bit holy. I don't know, for some reason, it reminds me it's like a bit holy. It's a bit, you know, um, I don't know how to say this. Like, it, it, it inspires you to be like, uh, holy. Uh, I don't know what I'm, the word I'm trying to look for. Oh, damn it. Okay, if I remember it, I'll tell you. All right. So, yes, this one feels like that. You just need that one little tap you know and then you can just tap your hand all right and then or you can put one behind your neck all right you can do that okay that's application summer avoid it cooler weather perfect nighttime breezy perfect if you're going for prayers perfect who'd like this it smells a bit mature all right it has the notes of uh i didn't look at the official notes i think it has wood rose a uh, bit of musk and then up top, it's, it has some sort of a fruitiness. I'm not quite sure what fruitiness is this. It smells tasty, all right? And the top doesn't stay for the way the top smells. It changes over time, right? Not much transition, but it changes. This fragrance reminds me of another fragrance that I have in my collection. I was like, this smells familiar. And I tried some of my oud fragrances. Then guess what? This one popped up. Yes, Jacques Bogart, One Man Show, Oud Edition. My favorite of the whole line. See, this much juice is down in matter of 10, 12 days in the winter, last few winter days. I used up this much and wonder why. Okay, I'm going to spray this here in my hand. I'll tell you the comparison. Okay, I'll go two, even though it's not a good idea. Summer is coming. But yes, this fragrance reminds me of that. All right. So if you have seen my initial impression on this, you know this and this. <clears throat> when I say they are close, yes, they are kind of like cousins. Which one do I like more? This. 
this is why in short why i say jacques bogart house is a gem of a house all right this is the fragrance that got me into wood this is so tasty so juicy and you can actually absolutely want to drink it if you're in a cooler country look into this all right coming back to this fragrance all right what do i get opening yes you have that soapy feel you know it's not a soapy clean feel it's soapy headache and synthetic you know bit strong and uh, you know it's not very um polite or mild all right it starts off with very strong like right up oud oudi oud and then some sort of like floral yes it's there right up then 10 minutes from there it starts changing a little bit all right it goes to a side it sits on your skin very very not very loud projector it sits very nicely it acts like a perfume oil it will hang on to your skin forever yes for the summer time i'm not getting the best performance out of this because i understand season matters all right this one in the colder weather if you put just one it will last you at least 12 hours because the perfume oil is so well constructed and rasasi gives you definite definitely very good quality all right so for wood lovers only this is a perfect choice if you're a collector just look at the bottle once more you want this bottle in collection just to look at it all right who else like this i think little mature gentleman um this is not for kids kids would be like this is not playful at all this is not our cup of tea this is disgusting all right right up for office purpose uh, don't think so uh maybe if you're doing yoga in the morning i know it's a weird thing to say oh i found the word spiritual if you're feeling spiritual yes that's when you wear this all right this one people can come and appreciate it if if your personality is a little heavy and serious and you are very um you don't speak so much you speak very slowly like this right so today's meeting is about this right okay what's the update on that all right noted so yes imagine a person who speaks like that he would be wearing something like this that's what when i close my eyes i can imagine right for the price you cannot go wrong this one it's not super cheap like your body sprays and stuff but seven eight ten dollars man come on seriously if you're a frag head you, you you don't mind you know spending that much on a fragrance oil you know so good things about it long lasting all right very premium smell all right smell wise it's not maybe the best wood because i have smelled better wood even one man show smells better than this in my uh, opinion because i love this a lot this one has a little bit sweetness to it with the leather so much more going on this one however doesn't have that much transition all right but it is good if you're looking for something uh, more sophisticated and uh, let's say more serious all right spiritual time if you are the boss of the office and you just want to enjoy your personal moments with the fragrance yeah this is the kind of fragrance you want to do that with it opens up a bit strong but settle down very very nicely you're going to love the dry down of this all right and my reason for getting it is i'm going to be using it you know i may not i don't know how long it will take it will take me more than i think 200 ml of ck1 shock this is 200 ml i think i'll finish this much earlier than the other one because i just need tiny bit of this all right so it's a very good investment all right so if you love wood if you love amber you can look into this beautiful fragrance oil from house of rasasi i'm really digging this arabic houses now all right so i'm a bit late in the oud game but then yeah i can see where marks coming from right so once again it's amber oud all right and for longevity 10 out of 10 remember for winter i'm talking about not summer projection it doesn't project that much uh, after one hour or so but it will fill up the whole room if you know what i mean compliments wise don't pick, look for compliments going to clubs and stuff like hey bro smell my atar smell my perfume oil all right this is not built for that fast life all right this is built for composed mature sophisticated and then you know acquire taste you know you read books and stuff and you enjoy your fragrance every now and then this is for your personal enjoyment this is spiritual stuff that's what comes to my mind all right and for if you want to give you if you want me to give it ultimate like out of 10 i'll give this 8 out of 10 this one i'll give it 10 out of 10 that much i love this not just for the house itself for the price they offer for the quality they give you cannot beat it all right so yeah this is not a review for this but i'm talking about this 8 out of 10 for bottle like this it's a lot it's 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 heavy eater for me all right so i love perfume oils i'll buy few more if i find quality like this so thank you for watching guys have a nice day and if perfume oil is your thing you can look into it if you're a fan of oud you can look into this 
very gorgeous very very gorgeous perfume oil all right it's not cloying or a detergent sort of smell it's not very cheap and all okay so yes uh, i love this all right so guys take care do let me know if you have used this ever and uh, what do you think of perfume oils all right take care guys have a nice day